Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues. The Premier League is back and Everton travelled down south very far to Bournemouth uh, in another crucial game for the Toffees. Uh, just to start off this video, I just want to say I've been on a break, as you can probably tell, on this channel for the past few weeks and uh, it's not the first time I've done this. Um, I think this is what Everton does to you. Um, but it's been fantastic that we haven't seen a touch um, of Premier League football or any sort or any Everton kind of content apart from the odd little news there and there about our financial situation. It's just been fantastic not seeing Everton Football Club play a football match. Uh, they've been out in Portugal, as we all know. Um, and, yeah, it's been a breath of fresh air. Uh, actually enjoying the weekends and not having... Everton ruined me weekend at all, which at uh, the age of 29, I didn't think it would, but it does. Um, yeah, so it's it's again, it's back to reality. It's a back to, uh, it's, it feels like D-Day every time we play, to be honest, because I just, we just need to do our own job and we need to start picking up points. Um, and when I say points, I mean more than one. And obviously, in recent in recent cases, more than zero. So a win is needed. I can't stress that enough. People have this ideology that we just we can pick up like six draws and four defeats for the last ten games, and we'll probably stay off. I don't think we will. And also, that is disgraceful to think that way because that will mean it'll have been about twenty games. That we haven't won a game of football in the Premier League, which no team deserves. No team in any league deserves to stay up with that type of record. Um, and it, it has to start at some point. It has to happen. And you know, Bournemouth to me, first half of the season, overperformed. Um, unbelievable results. Uh, Ari Ariola has done really well with them since taking over from O'Neill, uh, which I still don't agree with. Um, of their treatment of Gary O'Neill but he's doing wonderful things at Wolves um, but Bournemouth have been really good this season and I don't think they would have dared to dream that they would have been in this type of position uh, at the start of the season uh, comfortably safe in the Premier League there's no chance they're going down um, and you know they've got something to fight for potentially a top 10 place in the Premier League which I don't think they've done before Correct me if I'm wrong, Bournemouth fans. Um, and listen, if we have one job to do, and well, we we need to we need to be getting a win on the board. And I, I think Bournemouth second half of the season haven't been as good, or maybe they just maybe they feel like in their heads they've rewarded the fans already by already kind of keeping the club up for another season in the Premier League, and they've kind of dropped off a little bit. Uh, and it's a chance for Everton. You know, Bournemouth losing at home to Everton wouldn't be the end of the world for Bournemouth. You know, they can just carry on, start picking up some points. You know, these type of defeats could happen. Um, loads of supplies and results in the Premier League increases every season. Um, and I think, yeah, we listen, it's a, it's a ground that we haven't got uh, a very good history in, but... At some point, you know, football is football. Things and records get broken. And we have a very unwanted record at Bournemouth. I don't know if we've won at all. I can't recall us ever winning a game at Bournemouth. If we have again, correct me. Um, I think we nearly won a number of years ago with Barker. We thought we scored the winner. And then Stanislas, I think, scored um, an equaliser or someone like that. There's no other alternative to me. You know, picking up jaws is all nice. People go, you're away from home, that's great. But then we don't pick up anything at home. So, you know, on the co off the course of the season, we've picked up more points away from home. So, in my head, we're stronger away from home. And I think, you know, the likes of Ajisa Garner Gay is coming back, which I think he's better away from home, just the way we set up and the way most teams set up when they're away from home and they're not a top four team or whatever. I think it just a gonna go is perfect for that. Um and show that throughout part of the season. Um 
And yeah, too soon for Dan Juma, which we've heard about already. Not a big loss, but you know, he does offer something different. I don't think we utilise him and play to his strengths enough. He, do, he is a bit greedy on the ball, as most Evertonians are aware of. Um, but he does provide another option and something different. So it's a it's a it's a loss. Um, it comes too soon. He shaved his head. I don't know if it's a it's a, in support of Sean Dyche. I haven't got a clue. Um, I don't understand why players shave some red off. You know what I mean? Unless it's for like a a charity or something or you know a good cause. You know, don't dream it to me. See, that's about the hair, but it is what it is. Um, it's his choice at the end of the day. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I would like to see Coleman back on the side personally. It's just sad to say. Um, no disrespect to Coleman, but you know you should be wanting like a thirty-five year old in the first in the in the starting lineup. You know, we see Nathan Patterson make a mistake the other night, which led to a Liverpool player scoring a goal um, in that international match, Scotland and Northern Ireland. And, um, you know, this, I just feel like the confidence of some of these players have been sucked out. And I think they need a captain on the field, not just in the dressing room. They need a captain on the pitch to kind of pick these players up. Um, and when, it, when it's needed, Coleman comes out with big performances and then the team does and it's starting to become a little bit desperate in my opinion with an impending weight on points uh, potentially getting taken off us again which I think is absolutely ridiculous on all forms of levels and not just for Everton supporters just for the competition standards as well which just it's becoming a bit of a laughing stock we know Nottingham Forest have been docked points in the past few weeks um, and they're going to be fighting on all fronts and Luton are looking really good. I still think to potentially stay up, you know, Burnley picking up a win, they're not out of it. You know, they could pull out a miraculous run at the end of the season. You just don't know. We've seen it with the likes of West Brom in the past. Nothing is over. I think Sheffield United are probably the only team, in my opinion, that are done. Um, but, look, we, we have to do our own job. You know, we're getting all worried about losing these points and whatever and then fo- I, I just focus too much on other teams which shouldn't be the case you should be focused and confident in your own team to get ourselves out of it but 10 games without a win is alarming now we haven't lost 10 games in a row you know obviously that'd be 10 times worse but you know not winning a game of football and the amount of chances and moments we could have won games of football especially blighting away which I think is one of the that hurts a lot just just for the sake of I think when we got beat by West Ham um, later on that hurt but we wasn't winning the game where that one we was and it was kind of putting an end to a rotten run um, and a fantastic win at a, at a hard ground to be at uh, to, to, to get a result in and it's a soccer blow and I think that really dented again more confidence of these players but you know I just I know confidence is a big thing in football, but a lot of these players do some uh, do come across confidence, um, but I don't know when you say confidence in terms of confidence around other players in the squad thinking they can do a job and help you out in moments and and work as a good team. You know what I mean? So, listen, this cl- this club and this team are disjointed, um, and. We just need to find a way and a solution to get out of it. You know, Daesh, I've got a lot of negative opinions about him, but it's hard to argue that we should be on about 30 something points now, which is, you know, unheard of in the past few seasons at this stage. But I just think there's moments of him where. I just think he's he's locking the players too much, he's, he's restricting them from being creative and giving them freedom to do what they are probably best at doing and focusing more on staying in a game um, which listen if it plays out that way and we stay up then fine I get it but I just feel like if we carry on the way we're playing like that I can't see us picking up another win I can't lie to you I don't care who we've got where where, where it's at how many play, injured players another team has it just doesn't look like at all we're going to pick up a win. But, right, you know, I've got to be positive, you know, in my head. Oh, I can see another, I can see another loss. I can not see another win. Um, but it's going to have to come at some point. So I've got to try my very best to be positive. Um, and I'm going to say a 2-0 Everton win. 
which sounds like fantasy land it sounds like something which will i'll never see in the likes again <laughs> in everton in the premier league because i am very worried with the current situation where a lot of people and pundits do not think we're going down i think we have enough to stay up i don't know i, I just it just it feels more disjointed than ever um players not scoring which is you know they go off some point they're gonna have to but I just, you know, even if they picked up one goal, I can't see them scoring for another eight or nine. Um, I don't know. But, listen, I've got to have some hope. I've got to hope that Bournemouth don't play as well. Um, hopefully this break has done us something good for us. I don't know if the heat of Portugal is going to make the players work harder. I, I don't know what. I just hope something from Portugal gives us a bit of magic back and gives us something to smile about and Hopefully we can not take this down to the last few days of the season because I, I wouldn't be able to cope. If we get deducted six points, then that's certainly going to happen and I'll have very much uh, I'll no kind of hope of us staying up if, if it's a six-point deduction, which I don't think it will be, but you just don't know anymore. Anyway, I'll see us all for the reaction. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I will be smiling, as many of you will be, and we can enjoy Easter weekend and have a bit of optimism for the next few games ahead. I'll see you all soon. Nice to speak to you all again, and I'm out.